Hey everybody, it's Jay Tashimogi here. I'm here with another video. And this video, I actually been getting a lot of people that's been asking me about my domains, my websites, and basically how to put them together and how to make sure that they work together effortlessly. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you how you can link and forward your domain from at one and one. It can actually be used with a number of services. But I'm gonna do this with one and one for right now. Um, I'll probably make another one with GoDaddy so that you guys can get an idea of how that works. And um, I'm just gonna show you guys how you connect this to your web host. Now, if you're not a web developer, you may not know, which I feel like I, I usually explain this to my clients um, pretty often. Basically, letting them know that you have a domain and you have your web host. Your web host is basically the home of your website, which means that. All the files that go to your website, the, the site that's actually being seen and displayed by other people is not all from happening from your domain. It's happening through the web host that you have. Some people, they might purchase the domain and not purchase the web host. A lot of you need both. So to be able to actually get people to see what is on your website, to see the files, the images, the, the forms, all that stuff that you want to show and present to the world has to go on your web host. So with me, I use a variety of different web hosting companies. I have one that I actually pay for, which is a reseller account, and I spend about twenty something dollars on that every month. And I I have uh, up to about two hundred accounts I can actually put on it. Uh, I also have a couple of free web hosting accounts for other purposes where it comes to people who need um, those types of services. Of course, you will get ads and certain things like that because it is free, but it is free to you so you can actually use it and still benefit as if you were as if you were paying for it um and so with this one they with one in one and GoDaddy, they have their own web hosting companies um but with me personally i've never actually purchased those i just figured i'd go ahead and get my own web hosting company all together and then just go from there just because i have clients that also need web hosting um especially when i'm creating their websites they usually just purchase the domain and if they just have the domain, I usually I would have to go up and set up a whole new web hosting for them, or have them purchase one. So instead, I just connect them to mine. It was if you get a website with me, as the first year is free, and then a year every year after that is sixty dollars, which is like five dollars a month. So um, we're going to just dive into it, just so you can how you guys can figure out how to connect your domain to your web host. So as you can see, I am already logged in to my account. So what I'm going to do is I actually want to go to my domain, so I'll click here, go to my control panel, and basically just find my domain. And all I'm going to do, because I actually just did this, I'm going to forward my domain. So you'll see this, right? This is what I want to happen, or this is what actually just happened. This is the site that I want to link, this is the site that I wanted to link it to. Okay, now originally this site would go to let me move this up. As you can see, this is the the link that I actually have. Um, go back to my one and one. This is the link that I have in here as well, the domain, right? So now initially it was it was sent to this. One. This is the uh, the free web hosting I was telling you about. This is. Triple O web host. Alright. I have some videos on my page or my YouTube channel actually on how do you work with them, but I need to make them more in depth. So I will do be doing that so the guys so you can get a better understanding of how to use it. So this is the site, the same site, right? All I did was to redirect it to this link so that when people search join J the Haitian, they will get this site without having to get my free link. And that only cost me ninety nine cents. Okay? So I did, what I did was after I purchased my domain and I have I put the link in the bottom to purchase yours for 99 cents. If you already have a one-on-one -on -one account, you can actually set up a new or use a different Gmail account and then create another one-on-one -on -one account to be able to activate the 99 cent domain. So what I did, I come up here, logged in, click on manage domain. And when I click on manage domain, then I'm gonna get this right here. All you really want to do, this is all you want to do right here, is go to target, and it actually tell you to domain forward, to forward your domain, okay? 
and that's pretty much all I did. So I click here. Now, this is where I sent mine to. As you can see, the this is where I wanted the link to go to. The same link that I just showed you guys from here, from my my triple O web host, right here. That's the link that I wanted to cover up. So it goes up here. Keep in mind, I can still share this, but it just looks better if you have a more direct and specific link, more professional, rather, versus having um, the dot and the the web host name and dot com. Okay. So now this option that I chose is frame redirect. Why? Is because when people click on join J the Haitian, it'll keep this in the URL box versus they typing join J the Haitian and it goes to the actual domain that it's redirecting to. If that makes any kind of sense. Okay? So instead I want them I want this to stay up here. So I always click frame redirect, which is gonna redirect the email the URL. It's gonna get go to the URL that I wanted to go to, but it's gonna display what I wanted to show. Now, if you use HTTP redirect, which is recommended, but it's up to you. It's not forced. If it is recommended, um, what would happen is it would actually go to this to the new domain, but it'll convert back to the. It'll actually change from join J the Haitian and change it to actual, for example, yours webhost.com. Okay. So then, if you do this, you would actually, keep in mind, if I click this, this will be taken away. So if I click this, you have, this will show up. So this is where you have to include your information. So with me, I created my page title. Keep in mind, I know actually how to, I actually know how to type these in when it comes to coding on the back end of the site. So, uh, but this helps you so that way they can do it for you. So create your title, then you create your short, a short description for yours, right? It reminds you the internet marketer. And speaker based in Atlanta, Georgia, creating moguls daily. Right? Then you got search terms and then marketing motivational speaker, creative designer, Haitian mogul. Okay? So that way, whenever people search, they can find me. And then once you do all that, you hit save. Of course, I already, mine's already saved. So I'll go ahead and cancel. And it'll actually show. So now if I go up here and say I scroll up so you guys can see, and I hover over, wait, that's not it. That's my old title. And I hover over here, it'll show. You see that? It shows J the Haitian Mobile, NM Marketer, and Speaker. Okay? And it actually give you give everybody the feeling of what I just typed. Alright, and that's pretty much it. So now what we do is as you can see it's four to two. So you can adjust it if you want. And then these are the other products that you can actually use with one in one. But for this one we're just talking about how to adjust your domain. So that's what we wanted to do. So now that you've seen that, uh, try it out for yourself. This way it helps you uh, so you can set up your website, set up your link and your domain. And you can use this domain for anything. So it doesn't have to just be a actual website. You can actually have a capture page through another company that you're working with. You can just link this new domain to there. Just that way you're always set up. Now, um, if you have any questions for me, just make sure you leave some at the bottom of the video. Give me a thumbs up if it helps you out a lot. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. On that note, I will be working on the next videos. And I will see you guys the next time.